Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm so excited to be filming this video. As I said in my previous video, I wanted to show you guys my brow lamination process and I have my very first guest here. Hi! My best friend and my life. brow lamination professional. Um, we have a few questions that I wanted to start off with before we actually start the brow lamination. Um, for you to answer, so okay. I'm gonna be interviewing you. Yes. So first off, just explain to us in a nutshell, like what is brow lamination? So brow lamination is a three-step process which involves relaxing the eyebrow hair to to stay in your in its desired area. So if you have messy eyebrows or eyebrows that go down, it's the chemical procedure. It's kind of like a perm relaxer for eyebrows where it's three steps and it just goes and straightens and puts the brows in its desired length and shape. Next question is how and when did you get certified? So first, I already am a licensed cosmetologist. I did it, I got licensed back in high school. So then to add on the certification, I went and found a person in Dallas that does classes and I did my first eyebrow lamination with her. It's Claria Renee Beauty. Um, and she was amazing, cutest little salon ever. And I went and I got my certification done there where I learned it was a hands-on class that I mm -hmm. took and then got certified. Yeah, and she invested good money and time to learn this. So it's definitely you know, a good, it was a good investment. Yeah. It was a good investment, but I love eyebrows, so that's why I decided to try this new procedure out because it started in the UK and it's just recently mm -hmm. blowing up here in the US. Mm -hmm. And I'll tag Instagram and our socials and stuff where you went and everything so you guys can check her out and your stuff, of course. And what brand do you use whenever you? So there's lots of brow lamination brands out there, especially more that are popping out. But I use, and I was taught with London Brow Company, which I love their stuff. It comes in little packets. And the reason I chose to stay with that brand is because if I did something that was bottled, every time I pump, air would go into the product it just would not stay potent mm. so by doing it in the little packets that i do with london brow company i am able to use fresh product for every patient every time oh, nice. so that. the london brow company is what i use and my brow elimination service also comes with tinting so i use brow code tints and i love their stuff mm -hmm. it's it's great it's it comes from australia that's where you know all of this started over there so um i really like their stuff it's good good products that only professionals are able to purchase which goes to show quality products you're certified so you're getting a good service when when you pay for it you know yes that's certified. why i tried it first before i invested into this yeah. i decided to get mine done first mm -hmm. to try it out because I don't want to start something that I don't like. Mm -hmm. And I loved it. I fell in love with everything and the products that she used and my trainer used were amazing. So I chose to stick with those products. You mentioned it was a three-step process. So mm -hmm. you obviously do the lay down, you tint. Mm -hmm. so, so what's the three-step What step I process? do, um, the lamination is it comes in three steps. So you have to do one solution, a second solution, and then the mm -hmm. last solution. And before I do the third solution, that's when I wax and tint to you. Mm -hmm. um, but the first solution is kind of a, a relaxer that breaks down the natural hair bonds. Mm -hmm. And then the second one kind of keeps it in place. And then the third solution is like the final nourishing conditioner. Mm -hmm where you cannot wet your brows 24 hours after the service mm -hmm. because then you will break down those bonds that mm -hmm. you just changed. Yeah, water, water will like react, right? Water and will react. Same as a hair perm. You're not allowed to wash mm -hmm. your hair mm -hmm. for like 48 to 24 to 48 hours mm -hmm. after a perm. But it's the same for your eyebrows. So I will clean your brows and then I will go from there, do the three steps and then do the tinting and the 
wax right before the third step, which is the nourishing conditioner, which I will, you will leave with it mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. and you don't want to rub it off. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's, that's the process. It's, it takes about maybe an hour and a half. And you mentioned, you know, 24 hours after not getting them wet, but what do you recommend to like care for them afterwards? So the way I do it is I personally like when I do my own is to have a clean face. That way I don't have to worry about having to be very careful about wiping off my makeup afterwards. Mm -hmm. It's not necessary. Um, but then afterwards, you know, I made sure I washed my hair the night before mm -hmm. so that when I'm in the shower that night, I could just wash my body without having to worry about water getting on my mm -hmm. face. You may have to skip out on some of your products mm -hmm. like toner because if you it's so you were so used to going around our face mm -hmm. that you can forget that it touches your face. Yes. So after 24 hours, you you can wash your face like normal. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be careful. It's not like eyelash extensions where you have to be very careful around the eye area. Mm -hmm. You go back to normal and every night apply some sort of nourishing oil like castor oil, coconut oil, Castor oil is really good. It also helps with like hair growth. Hair growth. So, um, but I personally have been using coconut oil. I brush them out every night and I'm good to go. It lasts about six to eight weeks, but we do not recommend starting it, getting it done again before eight weeks mm -hmm. because you could break down your hair. Mm -hmm. It's like a relaxer. You don't want to bleach permed hair mm -hmm. because it'll break off. So mm -hmm. it's the same thing. Yeah. And you don't think like, your hair, your eyebrow hair has texture, but it does. Cause after, even now that, cause I'm getting it done again for the second time and it's been about seven weeks. I noticed they dropped, you know, they don't stay up, but they're still really straight. Like, mm -hmm. so it really does change like the shape of your hairs even. It does. Which brings me to the next question because someone did, um, I posted on my Instagram stories, you know, if you guys had any questions or were curious about anything, um, someone did ask if they could have like a partial, um, Lamination mm -hmm. done. I guess if you have like pesky, you know, areas, could you just focus on that area or what do you think? I would say no. If you're going to do the brow lamination, do the whole eyebrow because if you just do a partial, it'll, it just changes the hair shape. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have maybe straight hairs that go in a good direction, but then the rest of your hairs are not going to match that mm -hmm. same texture of that hair that we relaxed. Yeah. So they're going to look, I would say, messier mm -hmm. because it's there. there's going to be different hair shapes and yeah. densities on there. So I would recommend if you're going to do this, go for the full thing. Mm -hmm. um, and at first, it does look a little harsh. It can You're going to mm -hmm. look very different when you look at yourself. But after the first 24 hours, you go back to seeing how your brows will normally look. Mm -hmm. But they're going to be in the desired shape. They're just not going to look as... As it's gonna be dramatic at first yeah. because you're gonna be like what happened to my face it's like when you dye your hair when you go from dark to blonde you're like who is this yeah. but it's it's just the first 24 hours that you have to get through mm -hmm. and then you're gonna fall in love with your eyebrows mm -hmm. you really are I loved my eyebrows as you guys can see like I'm not have I don't have them done I don't have any makeup on them right now and they're super thin mm -hmm. but when I first did it and I did post like a before and after in one of my other videos you can see that they're just like way more fuller so I loved them but I did want to mention for me personally I have sensitive skin I have a skin condition called psoriasis and I actually have some of it on my eyebrows so it did flare my skin up a little mm -hmm. bit um it was it burned for me a little bit it itched and stuff but that's me personally because of my sensitive skin I use cortisone cream and that honestly helped a bunch. So if you guys have sensitive skin, something to think about. And I know you mentioned doing like a- I can do a patch test, for mm -hmm. example. Megan just fell in love with everything, so she dove right into the to the procedure, the process of lamination. Mm -hmm. And um, she did have some irritation and redness, which she probably will have because it's a chemical solution. Mm -hmm. So it's something to keep in mind. Mm -hmm. The times aren't, the time that is left on the our brows is not very much, mm -hmm. but when you have sensitive skin, it can really 
affect you. Yeah. So if you are afraid of trying it on your face first, there is a way that you can come in and do a patch test mm -hmm. where we could test it out on your skin first to see how you're going to react. And if it's very bad reaction, then you can choose to skip out on this process. Mm -hmm. Or if not, you can just dive right in like Megan and it went away. <laughs> and just bear Beauty hearts. Yes, yes. So worth it. it was but she, worth she's it. Megan, you know, she loves the beauty life. She yes. loves trying things. Well, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna bear the pain. <laughs> it's just so worth it for me. For someone who doesn't have a lot of eyebrows, like, the look just, I love it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut to me doing it. All right. Right. And we'll come back to see the final result. Sounds great. Okay guys, this is the finished look. As you guys saw in the time lapse, she did amazing. Thank you. She even waxed my mustache. Thank you. Yeah, she needed a little bit of help. I had a stash. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, take a look guys. It looks so good. I have brows again. And she will show like after 24 hours after you wash them off? Yes, I will do like a yeah. little. That way they can see them once you, the conditioner is off. They're not so red. Yeah, once they're not so red, once inflammation kind of goes down. And good news, it didn't hurt as much. It didn't burn as much, so I think. The second time was better. Yeah. So see, it gets better. <laughs> so don't be scared. I highly, highly re recommend you come to see Madai and get your brows did. Yes, and I love doing your brows, so thank Come you. On All right, guys. Well, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. So I wanted to use this video clip that you guys probably saw in my keto video at the end, but this just shows very well how they look like after a few days. Um, they're no longer red. And I'm happy to report that I did not get the same reaction that I did the first time. So don't be scared, guys. Give it a try. I just absolutely love my eyebrows. They're so easy to do in the morning. Um, I just keep them brushed up with coconut oil at night and just fill them in in the morning. Also have my lash extensions here. So life has been easy with this. And if you guys have, you know, stubborn brows that just don't stay in place they're fluffy or they're even if they're not if you don't have a lot of brow hair i definitely recommend you guys give this a try i'm leaving all of my guys information down in the description box so you guys can contact her dm her get with her with pricing i definitely recommend you do this it's worth every penny and i love my brows so thank you guys so much for watching this video subscribe if you haven't already like it so that i know that you liked it and it again makes me excited to keep posting for you guys i'll see you in the next one bye